everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today, we're with Jen and Paul. We're gonna do a circular walk around Bowes. As you can see, we're at the car park, which is the Village Hall car park, free parking. So we're gonna walk up the main street towards the castle, and that's gonna be the turning point onto the Pennine journey which is going to begin the circular walk before you get to the castle you'll walk past Giles Church it's a nice little church historic you can have a walk around the grounds and have a look so we've walked past the church immediately to the left hand side you'll see the sign so we're gonna head down the back road and the castle's right there. So before we go on the actual walk, I'm gonna show you around the castle. Let's have a look. You're allowed in. You just walk through the grounds gates and you've entered the middle of the castle. We've seen the castle now, so you're going to head left of the castle, you'll see a gate, open the gate, turn right. As you're walking along the walk, you'll come past an ivy hall farm campsite. Looks really nice, it was just a couple of tents, but you can see they're all getting the sausages on. Get up there. As discussed earlier, we're following the Pennine journey. Another sign here, which says the river, Greta, Greta, whatever you want to call it, a third of a mile away. Let's go left. You'll come past Swim Home Farm. Just walk straight past it. You can clearly see where to walk. How are you all doing? All right. Fine. They are right. We'll check in on them in about four mile time. <laughs> so we're into the first mile now. We've come to the bridge, your first bridge of many. It looks really nice. Very scenic. We're walking past another farm here. Jen's just said she doesn't like cows. Unfortunately, we have to now walk through, through, through a field full of cows. I would love to check so we've continued on, we just walked past the farm again. Well signposted, continue on the path. The farm is hard at work. We at another farm now again, but it's well signposted. We're gonna turn right and then in the just past that running sheep, which has got a bit of a limp. All right, son, we're gonna head down and turn left. Keep following the signs. How are you sheeping? As you can see, the sign clearly points, we're gonna head past the farm, do not go over the bridge on the right-hand side. Ensure you go left. We've crossed over to the bridge, but as you've noticed, there's a sign with the acorn, and that's how you know you're on the National Trail. We've turned right over the bridge, following the path. We're walking past another farm here. Lovely path. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what they put down, but it's very soft. It's like walking on sand, isn't it? Like yeah. sand. Uh, let's talk about the importance of keeping hydrated during a walk. You must be drinking. Every couple of miles you want to stop, have a couple of sips of your water, 
have something to eat, keep your energy levels up, and you'll be absolutely right. You'll enjoy it better. Don't get yourself hydrated. You'll just make yourself tired and frustrated. I was a poor, I didn't even know it. So we're near God's Bridge now. I must say, I'm very impressed with the paths. About half a mile back there, it was very well planned and it looked like it had been updated. Gates had been painted and everything. Are you managing all right? Not too Spot bad. On. How do you think of the walk so far? Very beautiful. There we go. You're loving it. This is Jen's first official walk, which is on the YouTube. <laughs> we know Paul, it's his second one now. He's getting into it, he's found his new boots. New well, I'll say he's had them about a, centu a century, is it a century? No, uh, like a decade, sorry. <laughs> he's had them a decade, but they're still going strong. <laughs> we are God's Bridge now. Unfortunately, the stream or river, whatever you want to call it, it's just quite flat. There's not much water coming through here at all. They usually would be on a wet spell, but for those who don't know, it's a natural made bridge which is formed of limestone. Hence why it's called God's Bridge. So we're gonna have a little break, sat on the bridge. We're gonna eat some food and then continue walking. Right, we've seen God's Bridge now. When you continue on from here, you wanna be heading up, which is gonna to bend to the right. You're gonna walk past this little farmhouse and then you'll get to an underpass, which is gonna take you under the main road. I remember the first time I did this walk, it was round about this area, I got lost and I ended up on a private property farm and I got absolutely bollocked. And I had to walk along the main road with Ruby the whole way. Then I got the OS map. That's why I'm always saying to you, get the OS map, then you know exactly where you're going. Makes sense. So as you can see, you come up the hill, rather steep. Paul's got a bit of a sweat on, but he's doing well. Continue up, at the wall turn left, and the underpass is near that next farmhouse. We've made it now to the underpass, but when you come up here, just take a moment and have a look at the view. It's absolutely fantastic. So we're at the other side of the main road now. This is the point where you start to head back to Bowes. So now we're in kind of Moorland. We're gonna to walk to the wall, head up left, and then veer off to the right. And that's gonna take us back to near Bowes onto a B road, then you're gonna walk down. How was all doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've seen the sign. We've turned right at the fence. There's also other signs where you can go straight on. That's not gonna take you to Bowes directly. It'll take you further out, more of a circular walk. We've turned right here to make it around about seven mile in total. We've been walking along the wall now. You don't leave the wall, you just continue along here. We're not that far now until we get back into a road. You can clearly tell around the area that it's been raining the past few weeks, possibly months the way the weather's been this year, but it's unbelievably boggy. It's just like a great big sponge. Sometimes in obstacles along the way, you have to do this. Yeah? At this point, we've followed the wall. 
We've veered off to the right, but you can clearly see a path which has been well trodden, and that's gonna take us back to Bores, to the right hand side of the satellite dishes. You'll be able to see them to the left. But we're gonna head right, head back down, almost there. Right, so we've come off the mirrors now. As I did say, you've got the satellites. You're gonna to head towards them, and then you come to this road, and then if you look down the hill, you'll be able to see Boar's Castle. Literally head back down towards the castle, back down to the car park. We're back at the car park now. They've done really well. No, we? Big thank you to Jen and Paul for turning up. They've enjoyed it. It worked out just over six miles today. I will put the walk at the end of the video. But if you want to see some more, subscribe and watch some more. See you later. Bye. Bye.